The existence of coral reefs is only possible because of the special symbiosis between corals and microscopic algae known as zooxanthellae. Zooxanthellae live in the coral tissue and photosynthesize to provide the coral with energy. They also provide pigmentation, oxygen and nutrition. In turn, they receive carbon dioxide, nutrients, protection and access to sunlight. Just like there are many species of corals, there are many different species of zooxanthellae that live in them. We call them clades right now, of different types of zooxanthellae, because we don't yet uh, know if they're different species. But different clades have different resistance to high temperatures. And so we know that clade D, for example, is more resistant to higher temperatures. And so knowing uh, the balance of different zooxanthellae in different coral species can be useful for management. And one exciting prospect is that scientists are trying to see if they can uh, increase the resistance of zooxanthellae um, that are present in corals. So perhaps more Ds rather than the other ones, or else even within the D clade, some might be more resistant than others. Corals that survive bleaching events may do so because they contain the more tolerant clades. However, the issue is complex as it is common to find several clades in one coral colony and there are many different divisions even within the clades. Now scientists are considering trying to help corals adapt to climate change by artificially providing them with these tolerant clades. It's a controversial idea but it's important to explore all possible ways to help corals survive climate change.